Hi guys, Andy Carter here, PJ Teach Professional at Trafford Golf Centre in Manchester. And just a quick video today on releasing the golf club through impact. Now, massive, massive issue for a lot of players and people asking many questions about whether they release it naturally, whether they should try and release it, whether they should release it fast, where they should release it. So we're going to try and figure out a few answers to some questions today. And I think the easiest one really at the moment has got to be it should release through naturally. Now, a lot of players will try and force it and try and really think, as I get to here, release it now. Or if I think about releasing it now, it comes a little bit too late. So you've got many, many swing thoughts coming through your head. I'm going to try and give you one drill today that will make everything much easier, I hope. Okay. Um, I don't know if you watched the last two parts on how to stop slicing. So if you're, a, if, you're a, if you're a slicer of the ball and the last two parts have helped you and you've got, you've got a nice swing path coming from the from the inside, swinging out towards the, towards the outside, so an into out swing path, or even if it's, that's just your natural swing path anyway, and you push the ball to the right hand side, so you don't, you don't move it from right to left in the air, it just comes out, comes out quite straight, but just does not quite come back with that draw. We're gonna look at trying to improve that club face angle relative to your swing path to get the ball drawing. Also, for those players that swing from an out to in path, and hit the big slice towards the right hand side. We're going to look at trying to straighten up your club face, club face to the swing path. Now that will promote a big pull shot to the left hand side, but it will pull it less distance than you're actually slicing it in terms of relation to the target, but it will hit the ball a lot further with a much more penetrating um, trajectory. So then all you've got to do is try and work on the swing path to improve the overall accuracy of the shot. But what we're going to work on today for both swing paths is how to release the club through impact and where it should release. And the only thing I want you to really focus on is where this club is pointing after you've hit the ball. Okay, so halfway through the follow through, where this club is pointing. And I want you to swing up to the top, come back down, hit the ball as normal. But I want you to hold your follow through with your right palm pointing down to the ground. Or there's another way you can look at this, look at the club face. I want the club face to be pointing with the toe of the club pointing left as you look at it, okay? Obviously right from the, your guys now as you're looking at the um, club. But from the angle of yourself hitting the shot, the toe of the club pointing left. This will make the club face rotate through impact at this point. We can't really be in full control of what actually happens in this region. It's the fastest part of the swing. There's no way in a million years you could say, release it now and it's going to be perfect. So by the time you thought of it, the ball's already gone. So we're going to try and focus on a follow through position that makes that position happen at impact, okay? Makes that impact position perfect with the club face angle. It's gonna take a bit of trial and error, it's gonna take a good few golf balls at the driving range just to kind of build up that correct timing and that feeling that you wanna try and have. And then we wanna try and progress it onto the driver, okay? So first of all, what we're gonna do, now this is whether you've got an in to out swing path or an out to in swing path, does not matter. If you've been out to in swing path, like I said before, we're trying to straighten up that slice. We're trying to, we're trying to make you hit a little pull rather than a big slice, okay? So this is, that, that, this is that kind of final step, or if you've struggled to change your swing path, let's change your club face angle, okay? So as you come into the ball now, I want to make sure this club face is pointing to the left, or if you talk about a clock face, pointing at nine o'clock as you look at it through impact, okay? So I'm gonna hit a shot. Bring the club back down slowly without moving my hands. That club face now is not pointing straight up with the toe. I've got the toe of the club pointing just left, okay? So I know that club face moved through impact. Now, even if I still pushed it, I know my hands moved. So it's just that trial and error, it's just that timing, okay? I want you to go on to do this with the driver as well. And anytime we make a swing change with the irons, we want to try and do the same sort of thing with the driver. So we've got to make sure that as we're coming back into impact, the hands are rotating, that club face is pointing down towards the ground, that toe of the club is pointing towards the left hand side. Let's get that ball going straighter, lower and further. From any swing path change you've made so far, it will definitely help. For any swing path change you haven't made so far, again, it will definitely help, okay? So let's get the ball going straighter. Guys, if you want to leave some comments on today's video, just Drop me some comments below. Couple, couple of, any questions are all welcome. Send me some swing videos as well. Absolutely not a problem. Um, also, if you can subscribe to the channel, please, for some more future videos coming up. And add me on Twitter and Facebook also.
Guys, thank you very much for watching. You've been fantastic. Thank you.